Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron Gritchold, and today, have a look at this little beauty, hey? A 530 Polycraft Center console. And I love this, you know what? They are just solid. Now this is sole boat, because I felt like kicking it. And I didn't kick it because I don't own it. Now, but we're going to test it and we're going to go through it. It's a very special boat. Now come up to the front, and as you know, we always fit oceanic trailers. Because of Polycraft, have a look down here on the trailer. Dan, have a look down there, how it sits on the keel. And that's why Oceanic are the recommended, you get more warranty if you use an Oceanic trailer. And have a look at this C section. A lot of people say to me, why are trailers made out of box section? Why aren't they made out of C section so all the, all the sand and the salt just wash out? You could just hose it. Well, I don't know why it is. Maybe more trailer people should make it out of C section. Now have a look this side because this is one of the more beautiful looking polycrafts I've ever seen. 530, it's got a 130 litre tank. Now Dan will put the specs up and the reason why I, I put up, I said it's got a 130 litre tank because in the specs it says 200. But I spoke to my guy Polly Pete, who's famous for polycraft, he said no that's a mistake, they're, they're 130. So when Dan freezes on the specs, don't think I'm wrong, I'm right. Now we'll look inside in a moment, come around the back, it's rated to 140, it's got 130 Yamaha on it, a little beauty, hydraulic steer with this nice little ladder on the back, and this trailer's drive on. This is an awesome trailer, I can't stop talking about this trailer because it's just solid. Look at that material here Dan, show that. Look at that. That is one serious looking trailer. Let's get the truth on meter and measure it. And here's one of my mates I've just met, Steve Hillier. Now Steve Hillier's been fishing. He's a flathead man. Good to see you Steve. Steve's watched some of my TV shows. Now I'll, get, I'll put him on this end. Get it at that end. At the dumb end Steve said. Well I'm no good at this end Steve. Now let's have a look at this and it measures 5.3. It's a big looking boat for 5.3 but that's what it measures to the bow sprit. Now we'll just take it across, we'll see there, oh I'll get it around this and what we'll do Steve, we'll get it to the front of this rail here on the outside, bring it to the outside there and holy crackers that's why it looks so big, 2.4, that is a seriously wide boat, let's measure on the inside there Steve, 2.1, look at that 2.1, now we'll come up through here and we'll try on the outside to start just in front of that console or to the outside there Steve and we're 2260 on the inside 1980 now what we'll do is we'll measure down the boat to see what sort of working area and then we'll just have one more at the end of that and we'll see what the water line is if you put that to the front of this couch and we'll just see how much room right in it. Take the twist out of it. Yeah, take the twist out, Steve said. He thinks I've been jibbing them too. 3730. And then if you do let go of it a sec, Steve, what we'll do, I'll show you how much freeboard's in here. I've got one more for you. The sides, 670. You know, you're never gonna fall out of that. And then what we'll do is we'll come across here and we'll show it the water line. Now across to there, just on top of, yeah, just there, there. yeah, 2-2 two, two for all you people. Now, what do you reckon of this thing, Steve? Yeah, it's alright for a polycraft. It's alright for a polycraft, drag it down the road. We've got the batteries for the Minn Kota, under here is central, easy to get to, but it's about the weight, you don't want too much up the front. They've put the, the 6 the 704 here, console concealed side uh, top mount binnacle, we've got the, the two land gauges, key switch down here, VHF radio, we've got a love glove box I can't get into, couple of uh, 12 volt sockets, and this massive big hummingbird Solix 12. Now I did a YouTube on Solix, that is one serious, serious sounder. The best thing I liked about it, it remembers. So you can go over a reef, stop, rewind it, Look for where the fish were and then guide you back. And with this Minn Kota, it will drive itself back to that mark. Look at this Minn Kota. Wait, I've told you before, you know, 80 pound, 
Come up here and look how neat it is, Dan. Look how neat it is. You just close it all off. This is all hooked up. This would all talk to itself. You've got a good uh, good anchor, anchor well there. Storage under here. You're on the storage, Dan. Bait board down here that comes with the boat. More little hatches inspection. This is solid. And the thing is up here, whether you're casting for prawns or you're flicking lures, hauling in, hauling in fish, a lot of room, a lot of freeboard, a lot of good rails. Now this seat, awesome seat, flip around, sit back here, drop the rear lounge, fish out the back, live bait tank. You wouldn't get that much in there. Not the biggest live bait tank I've ever seen. Rod holders, you know, some more Brisbane Yamaha work. Look down there how they do that. Any water that comes out, straight into an auto bilge, you've got that good stone, um, you've got that good hydraulic steering. Oh, well, there's two bait tanks, that makes it a bit better. You, you put some, you put some pillies or something in there. I love this seat. You know, I really, really do like these back-to-back -back seats. Plenty of storage, which is an esky. Chuck some mackerel in there. You know, if you're catching that many fish, well, and I'll take that sock out because this is a bit of Brisbane Yamaha bimini there. I had a detailer once who used to call it biminization. I don't think that's a word, but that's what we, we say now. I'll put this down. Let's go and see how this baby runs. When you see us, the bimini will be down. Five thirty Polycraft Centre Console. Geez, Dan, all he wants to do is listen to Eminem and heavy rock. I'm going to turn it down, Dan. I can't stand it. Go, I, I mind you, I don't mind a bit of Eminem. Now, let's have a look at this thing. I'll trim it down. This hummingbird sound of this Solix 12 is pretty good. If you can get that in the background, have a look at it. I like the console. I like how I stand. I've got plenty of room. I could hold here in rough weather. Turning around, the sound is very easy to see and to use. You know, you've got the stereo, VHF radio, everything is very is ergonomic. You know, and when we come out here, you can hardly, you can't, I have to turn the radio down, but I have to turn that motor down. Those 130s are unbelievable. Someone's ringing me, I'll just quickly turn it off. No, oh, it's my wife. Probably wants me to get up, bring home some milk or something, you know, but she's always ringing me. Okay, here we are. Stability up here. It's not a very rough day, quarter metre, but lots of working area. That's what I like about this boat. These rails, I could stand up here in big weather. You know, if you're fighting a fish, I'd lean here and they could drive you into it. Plenty of room for crabbing, casting, cast nets, jigging. I like that. That big back seat that Dan's on looks pretty comfy. This back-to-back -back seat works, doesn't it, you know? So let's see how this little beauty goes. I'm sitting down, I'll trim it down. Let's see how that hole goes. There's some birds up here. Okay, I'm off. On the plane, what did you get on the plane? 3,000 revs. Oh, it's planing. We're doing three. We're doing 35. We're doing 30 kilometers an hour. Let me do that again. Trim down, and off we go. On the plane, I might even prop it down one. On the plane in three seconds. Got on the plane at about 3,400 revs. We're doing four and a half thousand revs. We're, using, we're doing uh, 43 kilometers an hour. It's smooth, I haven't trimmed out. Give it a feed a little bit more, see what happens. 5-1, we're using 37 litres an hour and we're doing 50. Probably 53. Trim it out a little bit, see what it does. Oh, it's jumped up to 55, 57. We're doing 5-6, five, 5-9, six, five, 60. I'll just see what it is. Yeah, it'll go to 65. You've got to vary the revs. 
See what the owner says, what he wants to do. I might prop it down one. Get a bit less trim on it. Move around, do a circle. It's dry, it's spurting it out. It feels very stable. You know, this is the sort of boat, I had a mate who had a polycraft, only a little one. When he come in on the boat ramp, he used to just ram it straight up the concrete boat ramp. You know, that's why you buy a polycraft, because they're unsinkable. Yeah, well, don't do it. After about four years, he had to have it welded up. But that's all it took. You know, welded up, doesn't matter what happens to them, you can fix them. UV stabilised. I go out in the sun for years, these things. I go fishing up in the Gulf, use a little tough tender. One of them went missing. Three years later, it floated into Mornington Island, covered in barnacles and stuff, cleaned it off, still going. Unbelievable, look at that into some S work. Rip around, you know, you're getting wet, Dan. Dan wants me to put the radio back on, you know. This is the head banging music, put his hat backwards. I don't know what he does on weekends. Oh, through there, no worries with a bit of self-made chop. Vary the revs, because what we do, not everyone knows, but every time we sell a boat, we take it on the water and Yamaha. Yamaha wants us to check revs, and so what we do is we make sure it's gonna perform for the owner. <coughs> you can't just take stuff for granted just because it's a Yamaha, just because it's Brisbane Yamaha. You know, polycraft. Everyone wants us to check them so that they're perfect. You know, in this boat, and so part of the running, you know, you just, you have to see what it does. And on these videos, sometimes it might seem that I'm beating them up, but we don't take a lot of takes. Well, we don't take any takes, I just go, <coughs> I just start gas bagging on and Dan just makes it sound all right, really. Now, <coughs> I'm gonna drop this motor one and uh, I'm going to put a smaller prop on it. I probably should have done that before I did the YouTube, but oh, we well, have to test it, I can't do too much. You know, you don't want to get a boat and end up with a couple of, couple of hours on it because Aaron's been taking it out for a joyride, do you? But I'll tell you what, this seat and the position is incredibly comfortable. Tracks well. Just squirting it out. Dan's looking cool. I like the standing position. I like to hold on to there and it feels good. It feels ergonomic. I could do this all day. You know, and that's what you want when you're out there and it's a working boat. Tough working boat. The owner of this boat, or he's gonna pick it up tomorrow or the next day. You know, he's had been in polycrafts, loves them, just like everyone that owns a polycraft. And I just vary the revs every couple of minutes keeping it under load, because that's what you do to run them in. And running them in's probably not got to do with you, it's probably got to do with three or four owners down the track. Because these Yamahas, by golly, you can do thousands and thousands of hours on them, and that's why they're famous. Polycraft and a Yamaha. You're probably not gonna get any more reliable than that. You'd have to go to something like a tin can, you know? An empty tin can. Because these things, can't break them. Yamaha, never break. Most reliable product in Australia, you know. A lot of people say to me, well, why don't everyone buy a Yamaha? I say, I don't know. I don't know why they don't. I would. I tell everyone to. Everyone that doesn't is disappointed. And this polycraft, I tell you what, I could just, I felt like just driving it around. Because it's comfortable. You know, this is a, this is a seriously good boat. You know, sit on the side, you sit on the side, that's my wife phoning now, she wants some milk. You know, but sit on the side, fishing. I could have this as a family boat, or you could do it hardcore, you and the boys out on the reef, or, you know, imagine if you're up in the Gulf, mangroves and pushing around. You go up to the Barra tournament, you'd be like the king of the Barra tournament. Safety gear could just go under the floor. What do you reckon, Dan? Yeah, Dan reckons it feels good. It's very stable, soft in the water. And look, moving around, it's a 5.30, but like you saw, 2.4 in the beam. You know, we get up, let's see how it packs up, Dan. Let's see how it does that. 
All right, I'll swap around. I'll look back, I'll turn backwards, put it into reverse. Now I'll trim it out. Got a little bit of water on Dean's back, he hates that. Certainly not gonna sink the boat though, are ya? In the neutral, trim it back down. What have we got over there? We've got another boat coming. Let's go and have a look at that, Dan. What have we got? This Solix down view, side view, all on. I've got GPS. Look, here's another boat. Some sort of, she's a little beauty. What do we call that? I'd call it a shitter. But anyway, don't show it, Dan. It's not the best looking boat in the world, I tell you. Have a look at this, over this little wake. Let's see what that does. What little wake is what I'd say. Nothing. Perfect. Very nice, I've got to say. Turns in, sits down. If you're looking for a polycraft, you don't want any of the range. You want a Quintrex, you want a baseboard, you want a Yamaha, you want a used boat. Do yourself a favour, call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. We've got it all, we're the biggest. I tell you, you can't go wrong. Trimming it. And if you want a polycraft, give us a call. 3888 1727. Get out in the bay, spend some time with your family. Dan's got that sun in my eyes. And I'll see you on the water. <laughs>